in multiplying numbers with rational exponent, you have to look at the base first. If they have the same bases like this, 36 raised to 1 fourth times 36 raised to 1 fourth, they have the same bases. So you may just copy 36, then add their exponent. So it will be 1 fourth plus another 1 fourth. Now add their exponent. Since they are similar, you may just add the numerator 1 plus 1, that's 2, then copy the denominator 4. 2 over 4 can be simplified as 1 half. So it will be 36, then 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is equal to 1 half. It will be raised to 1 half. Now to simplify 36 raised to 1 half, you may convert this first into radical expression. This will be 36 will be inside the radical sign. Then the numerator of the exponent, which is 1, will be the numerator of the radicand. Then the denominator, which is 2, will be the index of the radical. So this is the same with square root of 36. And square root of 36, since 36 is from 6 times 6, it will be equal to 6. Another example, 58 raised to 1 half times 58 raised to 1 half. They have the same basis, so just copy 58. Then add the two exponents, 1 half plus 1 half. Similar fraction again, so you may just add their numerator, 1 plus 1, that's 2, and copy the denominator, which is 2. 2 over 2 can be simplified as 1. Therefore, this will be 58, then raised to 1. And 58 raised to 1 is just the same with 58. Another, 16 raised to 1 8 times 16 raised to 1 8. Copy the base, which is 16. Then add the exponents, 1 8 plus 1 8. 1 8 plus 1 8, just add the numerator, 1 plus 1. That's 2. Then copy the denominator, 8. 2 eighths can be simplified as 1 over 4. So therefore, it will be 16 raised to 1 over 4. Convert this to radical expression. It will be 16 inside the radical. The numerator of the rational exponent will be the numerator of the radicand. And then the denominator will be the index. So this is just the same with fourth root of 16. And fourth root of 16, since 16 is from 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, then it means the fourth root of 16 is equal to 2. Another, 49 raised to 1 third times 49 raised to 1 6. 49, copy the base, then add the exponent 1 third plus 1 6. 1 third plus 1 6, as you can see, they have different denominator. We cannot just add their numerator. Instead, we may use butterfly method to add them or we may find their LCD. So let's use LCD in solving this. LCD of 1 third and 1 6, that will be over 6. Then divide, multiply. 6 divided by 3, that's 2. Multiply to the numerator, that's 2. Then 6 divided by 6, 1 times 1, that's 1. Then add. Since they are now similar, we may add the numerator. 2 plus 1, that's 3. Copy the denominator, 6. 3 over 6 can be simplified as 1 half. It means it will be 49 raised to 1 half. Convert this to radical expression. 49 inside. Numerator is 1. Denominator is 2, that will be the index, or just the same with square root of 49. Square root of 49 will give us 7. Next, 8 raised to 1 third times 8 raised to 1 third. Copy the base, which is 8, then add exponent 1 third plus 1 third. 1 third plus 1 third will give us 2 thirds. 1 plus 1 is 2, copy the denominator, 3. So it will be 8 raised to 2 thirds. Now, let's convert this to radical expression. 8 inside. The exponent 2 will be the exponent of the radicand. Then, the denominator 3 will be the index. So, it's cube root of 8 square. Now, let's solve for this. Cube root of 8 square will give us 64. 
So now let's solve for cube root of 64. 64 is from 4 times 4 times 4. Therefore, the cube root of this is equal to 4. Now, let's see this one. 27 raised to 1 6 times 27 raised to 1 6. Try to answer this and comment your answer below.